In warfare, you need a place to hold enemy combatants. You need a place to hold prisoners of war, and you need a place to exploit a detainee for their intelligence value. That is not what has occurred with Guantanamo Bay. Guantanamo was a decision based on expediency. Even the most junior lawyer could look at it and say, this has problems in the future. The behavior in which we as Americans were demonstrating in relationship to retribution after 9-11, that, that sense of anger permeated throughout the entire military. As long as Guantanamo exists, it's used as a recruiting poster to bring individuals from all over the world to join the jihadists. Most people that are alive today remember 9-11. Our elected leaders knew they had to do something. That something was to invade uh, Afghanistan. There was a concern of what to do with the prisoners. Guantanamo Bay was chosen as a facility that initially was supposed to be designed for the worst of the worst. When the first prisoners arrived, it was a rather startling experience. It didn't matter how much evidence that you would uh, obtain uh, that would establish that a detainee uh, might, might not be Al-Qaeda, might not be a, a, a terrorist. If there was any speculation whatsoever, they weren't going to leave Guantanamo. Keeping them in Guantanamo makes young men and women look at the United States and say, you've treated us unfairly, therefore I will radicalize. We need to hijack the violent jihadists' own narrative, and we do that by closing Guantanamo. The stasis that they're in, in a foreign country and no end state, leads our strongest allies to question whether the moral foundation of the United States is what we advertise it to be. As we say that we are a nation of laws, as we say that we are a member of the international community that follows international laws to include the Geneva Conventions, and then we try to articulate that to our allies, the first thing they point to is Guantanamo. To put Guantanamo in a closet to close the door is the wrong answer. I think we need to look at ourselves clearly in the mirror and say, what didn't go right in Guantanamo? Whether it was a good idea to start with or not, uh, history will judge. Uh, what is quite apparent, it's a bad idea to continue it at this point. My advice to the American people is, start living according to the ideals of our founding fathers and let's uh, defeat the terrorists, but at the same time, Let's not sacrifice our American values.